Now, First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankoski. Good morning. We have a beautiful stretch of weather that continues here to close the weekend. Check out the beautiful shot over Lake Champlain. Some pink in the sky. You can also see some fog in the distance. Temperatures fell to the dew point in a lot of spots overnight and that generates fog. Not a ton of fog in this shot, but you can see some. It is 49 in Burlington with a mainly clear sky. A crisp start on this late August morning. The radar is scanning clear. It'll stay that way all day today and tomorrow and Tuesday. So the dry weather continues, but with the lack of wind and the clear sky and the dry air, it allows really low temperatures compared to the average for this time of year. 34 right now in Saranac Lake, 49 as you saw in Burlington, 40 in Newport and 42 right now in Montpelier. Futurecast shows the sunshine sticking around. A tremendous Sunday, a good one to head to the beach or take the boat out on Lake Champlain. A little bit warmer than yesterday as well. We're going with 75. A beautiful Sunday, very little wind to go around. 72 in St. Johnsbury, 70 in Montpelier, and 72 in Middlebury. We'll do it all over again tomorrow with a dry day. Some puffy clouds in the afternoon, but that is it. And on Tuesday, sunshine blends with a few clouds, and it's another dry day. A little bit warmer, though. We get up near 80 by Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Harvey. It has weakened to a tropical storm. It has winds of 45 miles per hour. It's going to continue to drift around southeast Texas. It's moving at one mile per hour. So the wind speed, not a big deal whatsoever. It's the rain that's the big problem with Harvey. And the rain continues to pour down on Houston. I mean, look at this connection to the Gulf of Mexico. Houston is dealing with major problems. In fact, we can actually look at what the Weather Service is transmitting to the folks down there. And they've actually said there's been a thousand, more than a thousand high water rescues overnight and at least five fatalities. Now, the problem here is that this isn't ending anytime soon. In fact, if you look at this one model projection, of course, it's only one model, but this is future rainfall through the end of the week, 25 inches. Some spots has already seen 20. So you put all the numbers together and you can understand why the projection was for possibly 40 inches in spots. Looks like Houston is under the gun for maybe the worst of that going forward. For us, it stays dry through Wednesday with the sunshine mixing with clouds up near 80 degrees. The dry spell comes to an end for us on Thursday with some rain showers moving through in association with a cold front. So it's cooler on Thursday, only 70. And then look at Friday, 64 for the high temperature. And by week's end, the overnight low temperature is in the Champlain Valley in the upper 40s. That's my latest first alert forecast. Enjoy this Sunday. Leanne, back to you.